Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel for MDE tutorial Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. And in today's video, we are going to learn about the exploit protection in the Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. So, let me start this video. So, here is the content what we are going to learn in this video. So, what is the exploit protection, exploit protection features? and uh, the ex uh, exploit protection reporting and the add-ons and hunting review the exploit protection event in the windows event viewer then how we can create the xml file for the exploit protection and then create a test policy for the exploit protection and now a reset exploit protection policy if you want to reset your the exploit protection policy and now here is the finally few commands explanation about the PowerShell commands. So let's move to the next slide. What is the exploit protection? So exploit protection help to protect against the malware that used to exploit in the infected device and spread. So exploit protection consistent of the many mitigations that can be the applied or uh, to either the operating system or the individual app so that uh, exploit uh, protection you can uh, apply it on the operating system or the individual application as well so exploit protection will provide a detailed reporting event and the block as the part of usually alert investigation scenario so when a mitigation is found on the device, a notification will be displayed from the uh, action center. You can customize the notification with the company detail and uh, the content information. You can also enable the rule individually to customize what techniques the feature monitor. And you can also use the audit mode to evaluate how the exploit protection would affect in your organization if it is were enabled so proactively you can check your the exploit protection how it's going to react yeah uh, before implementing to your the production environment so you can put it all these settings in the audit mode now here is the exploit pro protection features like uh, uh, what we can do with the with the exploit protection so control flow guard that will be uh, these options we're gonna use under the XML file. So these are the parameters which will be defining in the uh, XML file. And these are the uh, options like whether it will work for the audit mode or not. So these are not available for the audit mode. This is available for the uh, audit dynamic, uh, audit image load, so all these things. So here let's have a quick thing, the control flow guard. Uh, data execution prevent uh, DEP which is the most ever features used in the exploit protection the force randomization for the image a randomized memory allocation validate exceptions chain so all these are the uh, features which we can use or these are the parameters which can be defined inside your the XML let's have a look so this is the kql query it's a very simple uh, you can go for the device events and where is the action type is a start with the exploit guard so this query will collect all the exploit uh, guard um, data and you can put the one more where condition where you can pull uh, filter it out based on your the requirement now here is a example where i shows how you can create your the xml file so this is a one step from here uh, mitigation system config file so all these things you need to mention and then here is a app is started so in this scenario uh, i am using the acrobat.exe which will be enabled for the exploit protection so this is a full setting uh, if you want to reduce you can uh, remove that or uh, you uh, or I think you cannot add and this is the maximum so DP enabled and uh, the emulate ID thanks uh, this is a sign uh, DP uh, ASLR true and the required info uh, um, bottom info and uh, your the system cell so all these setting uh, settings this should be defined in the proper way inside your the XML file so this is the one of the example now suppose you want to reset your the exploit protection which already you implemented 
so you can use this uh, inside your the XML and then you can uh, reset with the multiple ways like you can deploy through Intune or you can use this XML file with the PowerShell as well. So here is some PowerShell commands which I mentioned. Uh, these will be helpful when you are doing any troubleshooting or you are working. So go to the process mitigation name is uh, I'm sorry. Uh, go to the um, process mitigation name is the process name dot exe like you can put it here your the application name here. If you want to set up any of this mitigation out of your the policy deployed applied to the test machine or the any of the machine suppose you want to uh, override that or uh, you don't have you don't implement the setting with the intune and you want to enable it with the powershell so these are the powershell command which you can use it and the set process mitigation you can use that uh, that's the one more way set the process mitigation to enable the dp or if you want to uh, disable the dp for the specific application so these are the powershell command which you can use to, uh, for this exploit mitigation now let's move it to the practical lab now and here is my the intune console uh, that's called mem console now let's move it to the endpoint security under the endpoint security will be defining uh, it under the asr rule attack surface reduction so let's move it to here and now here let's go to the create policy here we can select our the windows 10 and the letters and then now go to the exploit protection and here is some uh, little bit explanation about what is the exploit protection so exploit protection help to protect against the malware which definition i showed you earlier now let's create on the uh, click on the create and now here i can write it for the testing or anything you can mention it here now go to next and uh, click enabled here and now here is it asking for the xml so let me explain you about the xml file so i have here my the xml saved this is for the exploit protection now you can add it or you can go with the uh, view on your the chrome or with the edge so here is the file which I created and I can show you from where I taken it Microsoft from the Microsoft TechNet you can take it this file and you can import it here based on your requirement you can add it this file or uh, you can uh, modify according to your requirement if it is missing something so here uh, we are ready with our the XML and let me show you from where I taken this file so here is a microsoft github link where you can get this file completely so no need to uh, you know write it manually you can just uh, use this url and i will be pasting this url in my the um, in this video description so you can use one this and there is a one more link to create it so this this is for the uh, to reset your the uh, um, this uh, d uh, exploit protection sorry so you can re by reset this i will be pasting the another link as well where this uh, policy has well defined as how you can create this or it's a very simple to understand just put it these files and uh, take a, any of the uh, example the acrobat until it's ended here and this from here at the another app is started and it's ending by your the uh, the settings app configuration the sensor and uh, here is the uh, symbol it's a slash mitigation policy so this is the xml which i shows you that i'm gonna import in this policy so now let's go and import this policy let me first close this file so it should not create any problem now click here and and and, and where i am so it should be under the defender atp exploit protection and uh, here is the exploit protection so another policy is for this reset so once i click here it's give me the complete details which i have here so you can see it here now here is a, another option that's called like a, a windows defender security center 
if you want to configure it you can configure like a windows defender security uh, enable the local user can make change inside the uh, exploit protection area if you have selected then the user can use the, the powershell or the gui mode they can modify this uh, uh, defender uh, sorry exploit protection policy so they can able to overwrite if you have selected the disabled then user cannot overwrite this policy once this policy is applied to the test machine so let's have to uh, just select it enable if we want to test it anything on the device so we are allowed to do it now let's go to the next and it's a scope we are not going to configure anything now assignment so here i create a test group for this uh, policy so now here is the group and uh, let's search our this uh, rule exploit protection yes it is here so now i added a one test machine in this group one devices here you can see in here and now let's test it this policy on that device so now now we are good to create this so the difficult task just to create the xml file for this exploit protection that's all there is a, no other difficulty so once you're done with your the xml then you can uh, deploy that policy to the test machine so now once we've done it and uh, then where it went it's here so now let's go here and uh, just wait for the policy apply to this machine and then we can able to test so let's move it to the test device here and uh, what i can do so here the many things already opened let us go to the setting and uh, let's go to the account and just sync your the device so your device can get the latest policy on this machine okay so the option is not showing i have to correct this let me go to the company portal and let me sync it from here so might be some of the reason that sync button gone from there i will fix that or i will create a one video if you are facing that issue so you can do your own self so let's sync this device once it's done and then we can uh, then we can check it there so once your sync has done you can check it uh, by the setting here if it is working for you if not i'll just go to your the defender console and let's go to the app and the browser and uh, here is the exploit protection settings and here you can see in the program setting so as i mentioned i can override this with the powershell or the manually so you can add it over here if you want to add it to the something manually so you can modify here and uh, whichever you want data protection execution you can apply it or any of the program you want to add so you can go and uh, select it here the program entered so that's how you can modify it the locally as well and uh, guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my the next video good day guys